again everyone and welcome back to Sparkling Autos. This is going to be a relatively quick video this week as this was filmed less than a week after the last wash video using the Anakem automotive stuff. So the car isn't particularly dirty, there's no point in me showing you the before shots so we're just going to go in, give it a good pre-rinse and then I'll talk you through the products as I use them. So the first chemical I'm using is the Anakem automotive articulate again. Roughly three to four hundred mils in my eight pound pump spare. Cover the entire car and leave it to dwell for a few minutes before blanketing it with snow foam. And the snow foam I'm using today is the Constellation Chemicals Pulsar, which I have slightly over concentrated, but there is a reason for that. The bottle was starting to leak in the cupboard and there was roughly 200 mil left. So we just decided to use it all in one go. Now I have used this product in a previous video, which I'll link below. And if you've already seen that video, you'll, you may remember that this is quite a thin snow foam. It has very good cleaning power, but in terms of dwell time, it's, I wouldn't say poor is the wrong choice of word, but it doesn't dwell for a very long time. As you can see here, it runs off very quickly. Now, of course, the main advantage with that type of a foam is it's very easy to rinse off the car. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. So from bottom to top, usual process. There's no point dwelling on this for too long. Boom, boom. Let's just get the car thoroughly rinsed and get on with the wash stage. Onto the wash process then and we're using the Constellation Chemicals Celestia shampoo which requires roughly five pumps into a 20 litre bucket of water equivalent to roughly nine to ten mils of product which I think is fairly impressive particularly given the amount of suds it does produce at that dilution ratio and just to quickly touch on my preferred safe wash method everybody has their own method for doing this there's no right or wrong well there's clearly wrong but there's no right way but I like to give my wash pad or mitt a good squeeze out before I dip it thoroughly into the rinse bucket, squeeze it out again and then dunk it into the wash bucket and fill it up with plenty of suds again. But that's just my method and we all have our own, do whatever you're comfortable with. And speaking of being comfortable, I'm going to do something here which I know from comments in previous videos makes a lot of people uncomfortable and that's my one handed pad flip. As for the shampoo itself, yep, can't fault it. it uh, cleans the car, it's nice and slick, sudsy, and you don't need a lot of it. There's not really a lot more I can say about that. I've never been one to get overly excited about a shampoo. I'm certainly not going to spend, or should I say, I'm not going to waste five to 10 minutes of your time discussing it. It does the job, it does exactly what you need to do, and it's good value for money. You might remember from the last video, I finished the car off with ODK Exhibit Gloss Enhancer. And if so, you're probably looking at the car now thinking, well that doesn't seem to offer an awful lot of protection. Well, to be fair to the product, as the very name Exhibit even suggests, this is a show product. It's designed for if you turn up at a show or a meet somewhere and you just want to give the car a quick spruce up and add to the finish, this is a product to use. If you want a long term protection on your vehicle, it's clearly not. But horses for courses, it's not designed for that. So onto something which is designed for that purpose and here I'm using Constellation Chemicals Aquarius which as you can see in the footage is a snow foam sealant that's applied through your foam lance. Just exactly the same method you would use to apply your snow foam. So it's diluted at 10% in the lance bottle, ensure a good even coverage of the car and then leave it to dwell for no more than 2 minutes and thoroughly rinse it off. So currently Constellation Chemicals offer two different types of these snow foam sealants. There's the ceramic based one I'm using now which is Aquarius and then there's also a graphene based one called Gravity. Now, I haven't used Gravity yet so I wouldn't be able to comment on it. However I do know that it is supposed to be a stronger product i.e. more durable but the flip side of that is due to the cost of materials it's obviously a bit more expensive. But by all means go to the website take a look. I have a, an exclusive discount code which you'll see in the description below. I'm not sure if it works on the graphene based products due to the cost of the materials but it certainly works for most of the other products. 
Now, I personally don't gain anything from this code. This is purely just to help you out if you do want to try out some of these products. But back to this video. And as you can see from the footage, there's clearly been an instant improvement in the protection on the vehicle. And how long that protection lasts is something we're going to find out over the next few weeks. But in terms of ease of application and value for money, given how little you actually need, it's definitely started off on the right foot, in my opinion. And depending on how long that protection actually does last, I may definitely consider using this again on a regular basis. Certainly in the winter time, if I'm getting six to eight weeks out of this, for what is essentially, in terms of application, a spray on rinse off product, then that's ideal for winter use. When you don't want to be out for too long with cold hands, buffing products off. If you just can get it sprayed on, rinse it off and dry the vehicle, perfect. So like I said, I'll see how long it lasts. I'm going to spend the next few weeks washing the car with very low dilution LSP safe products. And I'll obviously keep you up to date on the channel with how many weeks, or indeed months, if we're really lucky, we get out of this product. But in terms, as I've said, of the initial application, the water behaviour, as you can see from the footage, is fantastic straight away. Considering what the car was like beforehand, I'm very, very impressed. And very much looking forward to see how long it does last. So we'll go through a few more seconds of footage of the water behaviour, purely because I love looking at it. And then we'll get the car dried off and see what the finished results are like. Now we'll dry the car off, usual story, glass first and then proceed on to the bodywork. And one thing I did notice instantly was just how easily the drying towel glided over the bodywork. There was noticeably less friction and it left absolutely no water residue at all. No streaking, no spotting and again as with the water behaviour it'll be interesting to see if that keeps up over the next few weeks. And once you've finished drying the car off and you've dressed everything you're going to dress and all the rest you can just sit back and relax, my tongue's relaxed already, and enjoy the results. So there's not really a lot more I can say about this one. If you've used this product or Gravity, or any of these types of products in the past, Feel free to comment about it below or anything else you want to add to the video or mention go ahead and just put it in the comment section and also if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to press the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already in the meantime thank you very very much for watching i really appreciate every view and i'll hopefully see you in the next one thanks very much and take care